Shalom, shalom. From the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon, all right, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh. Yahweh. Double honors to the elder apostles of all Israel, all right, Son. which happened to be stationed in Great Millstone, all right. That is true. All right. Okay. And salutations to the Bukhari, all right. Okay. Uh, we're gonna jump straight into it, man. Cause you got I'm just calling you by names now. It's gonna open. Yeah. <clears throat> well, through the spirit, you have certain guys out there that says, Show me a scripture in the New Testament that show men bowing down, you know, to other men. All right? What you deem you use discernment, we're gonna give you scriptures of men worshiping men in the New Testament. All right, it's really that simple. It, it's serving that man. All right. As a matter of fact, I, I'll start with one. Can you get that uh, the Matthews when you said that you have done listen to me? Mm. <clears throat> you have uh, you have done this to them. You have done it to me. I get the priest about to do that. All right, come. So uh, Matthew chapter 25, verse 30, 34. <clears throat> then shall the king come. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, be blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hunger, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty. And you gave me drink. There's this king is Yahweh shot, man. All right? And the elect was the ones in the in the marriage. So what are the things they did, man? All right? Go ahead. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. Which, hey, which some men on this earth actually did to a lot of you brothers out there, man. They clothed you. All right? They gave you food, man. When you was thirsty, they gave you the drink, man. All right? Go ahead. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger? So when did we ever do this to Yahweh Shah? When did we physically ever do this to Yahweh Shah? And we're going to see what Yahweh Shah say himself, man. Go ahead. And fed thee. Or thirsty and gave thee drink. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Right, so you said you've done it to the least of my brethren, and you've done it to me. Now let's go back to some of the things he was telling them, which ultimately is dealing with giving somebody the truth, all right? But when you go into giving the thirsty why? when you go into giving the naked clothes, that's serving, man, all right? The elders serve us as we serve them, as we serve pe uh, uh, the ones that hear us, man, all right? It's really that simple, man. Going to the word worship. Go ahead. And that's what I meant by you didn't have discernment of what the elder was saying, man. There's many levels of worship. So when he did say, all right, oh, well, if you worship certain men, it turns you were worshiping your house shot. That's true according to that scripture. He said, when you've done the least to that man, you've done it to me. Right. It's as simple as, hey, to worship Yahweh, to worship Yahweh, Yahweh, you have to worship men. You have to serve men. All right, one way or another, you serve the men. Lost the heart serving us. All right? The least amongst the, the greatest among you should uh should be the, least. Least. the, the greatest among you should be a servant to you. I have another one. 
that uh, Matthew 23. And um, I'm going to start at 10, actually. <laughs> I'm going to start at 10. Matthew 23 and 10. Neither be ye called masters, for one, like for one is your master, even Mashiach. He that is greatest <laughs> among you shall be a servant, right? So they'll take that. Now that means uh, no master. Exactly. Okay? You look at that right already, right? You got it? No, I got a perfect example of, of Yahweh Shai doing as he spoke, as right. we supposed to do. Watch with you. Come on, man. This is uh so because yeah, I was because look, take this up. When you do when all these scoffers doctors are all the same thing, you poke at it enough, it's contradictory. If they when you believe like them, it becomes contradictory. Because Yahweh Shai said, What call no man uh father earth? We have one father, the Yahweh, right? Mm -hmm. So that means don't call Yahweh Shai father, right? <laughs> but Isaiah <laughs> says he's called what? The everlasting, the everlasting father. father, right? Yes, that's a spiritual father for your ass. Right, and we also are called what spiritual fathers, right? Yeah. So, are the scriptures contradictory now? You lack the spirit of discernment. It's called, with all I get, I get understanding. Get your true. example, brother. This is John thirteen. Let me get straight to the point. Um, verse five. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded now i'm gonna jump down verse um 13 ye call me master and lord and ye say well for so i am hey, if i did that right there man but go ahead <laughs> it says if i then your lord and master have washed your feet ye also ought to wash one another's feet for i have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent it. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Now, like the brother said, perfect. Go ahead. And I was going to say, in verse 11, essentially broken down, man. But he that is greatest, so it still shows you that there's order, that you actually have masters. Mm -hmm. Okay? He that is greatest among you shall be your servant. All right, so they don't actually lord over us, man. It's just a simple fact. We're going to script to show us, uh, that we respect the elders, man, because they, they deserve it. And we don't actually go to our worship, which is perfect. Uh, well, that was a form of worship right there in the example. Right. Somebody yeah. washing your feet. You have a shot, yeah. essentially, worship the, the, yeah. the apostles. Yep. There you go. How about that? And guess what? So the apostles here worship us, man. You got to work to worship your how about you got to worship man. Because when you to break certain man, when you break down the word worship in the etymology, I got, I got come, oh, okay, okay, okay. Got hey, brother. Worship, old English, worship, uh, whatever condition of being worthy, dignity, glory, distinction, honor, renown, worthy. This has sense of reverence paid to supernatural or divine being is first recorded. Century 1300, yeah, 1300. So that's a new thing, man. Actually, a worship to only be uh, attached to a God, uh, a God. That's a new thing, man. That's new speech, man. And we above that. Come on, brothers. <laughs> that was heavy, man. Hmm. I got um, something real quick. Go ahead. Um, and then, you know, you, you put a comment. Uh, well, you got some more than that? This is a, these are form of uh, the shadow uh, things to come as in the law, but you went off of a uh, schoolmaster. But um, when you go back to the Old Testament, and these certain men bow to the king, and certain prophets bow to other prophets, right? And, and that's the shadow of things to come too, because it's still an order. I got you, Mr. Crumb. Right. That exactly. No, 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 no. That was it. I, I got right. some real fast just ahead, to, to land you. back off the Matthew the brother read. Real fast, brother. It's a rock three and eighteen. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. You know, so the Lord gonna exalt certain brothers to higher. Uh, uh, hey man, first in the apostles. Second prophets, thirdly teachers, man, it's so plain, man. There's levels to this, you know. It's like it, brother. 
This is First Peter's uh, one. It's like First Peter's five. I'm telling you, brother. I'm so hot. First Peter's five and one, right? The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder <laughs> and a witness of the sufferings of Mashiach. The one that exhort will even go uh, be with former worship man. That's being found of honor, man. Worthy, man. All right, it's that simple to be found of honor, man. To respect these men. Hey, um, can you get the double honor scripture? All right, but you guys don't do no more. No. The elders which are among you, I exhort, who also am an elder. So this is another elder exhorting another elder. How much should the underlings, man? Uh, and a witness of the sufferings of Mashiach and also a partaker of the glory. That's worship right there. Partakers of that glory. That's why we honor one another, man. We worship each other. Assholes, maybe that word, like they upset. Maybe that word is a little bit too harsh for you, man. That's what it is. Like, goddamn, it's, it's an English word going to the root the, in the context of how this word is being used, man. It really shows how wicked and simple you guys are, man. Mm -hmm. And also, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Be the flock of the most high, which is among you, taking the oversight. Mm -hmm. Thereof, so that's being ruler rules over. So being over, even as you said, you are fathers to those men over there. You know, that's a true thing. You are the fathers to those men, man. And that's good. That brother, the head of that that camp, the Chicago camp over there, that's good, man. You are the fathers to brothers, man. You got the brother from Dallas back on back on the scene. That's a good thing, man. You got the, the other brother from the Midwest. Dumb back on point with the John thing and the woman at the well. So that's good. You are actually the father over those men, man. And then your right hand man is the father of, of those men and so forth. That's true. Taking that oversight, man. They they worship you and you worship them. We worship man to worship the Shai. So I'm telling you, she's doing the same thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading. Come on, man. Go ahead. No, that was a hell of a point. Eat the flock of the most high, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, <laughs> but being examples to the flock. Follow me as I follow you, how shy. Right. Oh you, you can't sit up there and say, we got the truth. We got the truth, but then in turn say, I'm not telling you to follow me. You got, they follow by your example. We lead by example, man. One, one man can walk that road at a time. Yep. That's leading by example. Okay, you don't step on that step. Watch that step. No, that's that's a bad one right there. You'll fucking fall through. All right, it's a little wobble right there. You know, take it slower right there. Or you can speed past this part, you know, it's a little easier. Okay? Because, hey, but, because you yeah. Your fathers never stopped being that influential guide, man. Because when you was one, two years, three years old, you know, the father gave you experience of that. Then when you hit 10, 15, he gives you the experience of being 10, 15. When you 20, 25, he, get, he gives you the experience of being 20 and 25. It's been it, 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 like Sharak said, the, the road traveled. Um, yeah, well traveled man. Right, well traveled man. Experience. So that's the elders, man. All right. And we show them reverence and honor and uh, uh obeying ambience, right? All right, and obeyance or ambience is another thing. When we say worship, down. it means to bow down, bow but down. really, it is the, the bow down thing is just a gesture, it really just needs to obey. Mm -hmm. The bow down is a gesture, man. And guess what? We do if y'all didn't notice, we do it every time we greet each other, huh. we salute, do that, we and worship. We bow our heads. Heads. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking that no, no, right there, what else do we do after that? We put a blessing. Yeah. Which means bless means to what? Bow down. So we worship each other, put another blessing, and then we ask the Lord to do what? For him to bow down his ear and hear us, like it says in Psalms, right? <laughs> so the Lord in turn did what? He worshiped us, man. Hey, worship is the hard word. Why don't you understand my speech? It's because it's just they want to see the words bow. Right, hey, brother. They just want to see bow. Come on. Sure, like and and to land back, you had mentioned uh be followers of me, man. Hey, hey that, that scripture is as plain as it gets, man. Because God tried to twist that. Paul yes, wasn't man. saying to follow me when he clearly said, Be ye followers of me. 
just like I thought as I'm right. probably yeah, having that. He actually said. He I mean, him. I literally, if you come up to the camp and you ask me some questions or you inquisitive, I literally want you to follow me. Because I know what I'm actually following is the truth. Like, exactly. Like, why wouldn't you Take heed to the doctrine, to yourself and to the doctrine, uh, for you should save yourself and then they hear thee. Yeah. So, guess what? Man can't save you. How about that one? <laughs> that type of you know, because man can't save you. I would die and save you. So, probably not Esau. Come. What's not Esau? That's all we have. Take that you can hear him now, see? <laughs> and how about that? Hey, guess what? You do got to go through man to get to your house shot. What did your house shot to give Peter? The keys. Pull that up. I'm gonna finish this murder. Get your script. We'll get all that script. And and your shot gave the twelve power to remit sins or to uh, or to keep uh, 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 sins, man. Bring that around on the back, like, it always comes full circle. Let's go through. Oh, no. Do you want to go with that first of all? Yeah, we're going to finish these points. All right, there it is, man. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown. The chief shepherd. Right. Let you know there, there, there's more shepherds. Right. But there are a chief <laughs> first shepherd. Hey, hey, so they go to masters, they go to teachers, they go to Lord, they go to worship, going both ways, service, being held to honor, being held to worth, okay? He shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, the younger, submit yourself. Submit means submit. obey. Obvious. Bow down. Worship. Okay, likewise, the younger, submit yourself to the elder. They all of ye be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for the most savage is the proud and give the grace of the humble. Yep. So we all bow down to one another, man. And it says, uh, I believe we're going that word, it says, under the order. The, the man, you brothers spend time with the apostles, man. You know how they are. Uh, 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 <laughs> the, the Twitter apostles hit it out. Uh, uh, apostle were kind, uh, apostle, uh, but not an apostle were kind, an apostle Manathazar. <laughs> and them mm -hmm. brothers, man, doing service to us, man. Mm -hmm. Giving us wisdom examples. Willing to give out their own fucking money, like always. We not damn, getting a big bite. Right. We damn <laughs> we damn they gotta go off to, to, to rebuke the other and tell them nobody <laughs> not welcome here. Yeah, you know? exactly. We damn they going up. I mean, that's a joke out there. They said they said they're going off. If they can receive it, man. Right. 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 But um get that big bottle too. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the most high, that he may exalt you in due time. And for you to be exalted by the Lord is being held uh to that praise and dignity to honor again, which is worship. So that's the Lord attacking the worship and uh man. The simple Lord again humbled himself, man. I have something for you real quick. Go. Real quick. This uh this uh, uh Ephesians chapter six verse five. It says, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and singleness of your heart as unto your house shall. Not what I service. As men please so I can. can you read that part again? Is it what you just read, verse five again? Huh. Ephesians six and five. It says, "Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according mm -hmm. to the flesh, with fear and trembling." With fear and trembling. You look at that word. Fear goes back to reverence. Yep. Reverence goes back to worship. Obesity, yep. man, having that godly fear. It goes back to reverence. When you look up reverence, it means to fear, you know, to worship. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I just wanted to say that with, with fear and trembling, man. And singleness of your heart as unto your house shy. Not what I service as men pleases, but as the service of your house shy, doing the will of the most high from right. the heart. The service of your house shy, doing the will uh, from the heart, man. All right? So we ain't walking around just doing this shit to doing it. No, this is this is us genuinely, all right. And this is doing this as unto Yahweh Shai, because how you gonna love Yahweh Shai, man? You haven't seen, and you hate your brother, man. So the things you do unto your brother in terms of the things you do unto Yahweh Shai, man. No matter how you want to look at it, it be good. Verse seven, with good will, doing service as to the Lord. And not to men. As unto the <laughs> Lord and not unto men. <laughs> so that means you serving men as you would the Lord, man. But we don't never talk about Yahweh Shadow. That's all we're talking about, man. All we do is 
Hey, well, some scholars say Yahweh does go into the prophecy, which is talking about Yahweh Shai. And some scholars now say we don't even talk about Yahweh Shai. What's going on? It's but, the Pharisee spirit, man. It's just like nobody can play that meat and that shit, man. That's just the same thing the Pharisees said, man. John the Baptist came, neither eating and drinking. They say anything. Yahweh Shai came eating and drinking. And they say the same thing, man. It's just some knick-knack paddywhack shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> For real. By Nick himself, man. Knack <laughs> paddywhack. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Beasus. Go ahead. <laughs> Nigga, boo, man. Ephesians 6 and 8. It says, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. It says, and ye masters, do the same things unto them. Mm -hmm. Right. It's going back with this in the yeah, spiritual, man. man. Come. Okay. It says, for very greatly, knowing that your master, that's not like an order, man. That's not like an order on top of an order, man. All right. Knowing that your master also is in heaven, yep. neither is there respect of persons with him. Mm -hmm. So you got to watch over the flock, man. You just can't. Lord over the flock, but to make sure you guide the flock the proper way, man. And you rebuke the, uh, the flock as necessary, man, to keep them on the straight track. The yeah. same way you will whoop your son, man. Yep. You're showing them love. Can you, you know? that, that's the spirit that you say that. Can you jump up to one on that? Huh. It's uh, Ephesians huh, 6 and 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. And, and who's your parents in the Lord, man? Yeah, and, and, it's, yeah, it's really yeah. simple, man. Who's my mother? Who's my brother, so on and so forth. Right. Even furthermore, right. who's your right. spiritual dad? All right? Who's your spiritual father, man? And I'm talking about your spiritual fathers on earth, man. Hey, hey. All right? Paul, Paul said, I have begotten you through the gospel. So what does that mean, man? So it don't matter who taught you kindergarten and shit or fucking math and shit. Or who taught you how to read, miss, this, and that. All right. It's about to speak of that. What, what Paul said again, brother? He I've said, I have begotten you through the gospel. Okay, this is about who got you through the gospel, man. Exactly. Well, ultimately, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, his knowledge has uh, nursed us, man. It's nourishing us, man. You know, giving us that milk as we uh, grow into uh, men, mm -hmm. you know? And who fares? Hey, just like, <laughs> hey, hey, what? okay, if, if, if Yahweh Shai teaches directly and you don't need a man to guide you or teach, why are you out there teaching? Because everybody so, else gonna get so it right won't, home, right? elect, won't you always try to deal with the elect straight away and wake them up automatically? Why are you out there teaching? Why is there guys out there listening? That's true. So how should they, they learn and let's see the preacher? How should they preach? And, and, and Jake read that scripture though. Okay. Yeah, Jake and, and right. Oh, yeah, we, we're gonna have to bring it out because I only want to the word preacher. I got some real quick. I'm gonna try to bring all this up. It's, uh, let mercy is, uh, don't let mercy sit too long. It's, uh, Hebrews, I know, God, don't do it's, uh, Hebrews 13, it 17. It's a it says, point. It's like you, brother. Can you, can you finish that Ephesians, though? Come on. Ephesians 6 and 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Mm -hmm. Honor thy father, obey and mother. Like obey, which is obvious, obvious, because when you look up obvious, 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 Look up on basis in etymology, even the actual word, it says um, it means obey, and the sense of uh, um, bowing down is, is a new gesture. Yeah. That was the gesture to show that you actually under, under the subjection or the obedience to this person. It's mm -hmm. like honor and respect. Like, right? um, exactly. Bowing down is really the sign of honor and respect. That's nothing up. It's like just how do you know? You put yourself as the dirt. Yep. Lord, Lord hump damn, that's deep. So I said, Lord hump with himself, man. That's fucking crazy. And it goes back. It, it, the Lord so cold, it plays itself in nature. What the uh, like when we was watching the wolf thing, the uh, the submissive wolves when the when the when the wolf leader would come, mm -hmm. they would they would bow their head, they would get down. You know what I'm saying? And it, just like a dog, you know what I'm saying? When a dog gets scared and showing obeisance, it drops his ears, it bows his head. You know it, it's. <laughs> the, same, Lord the, same, the same way you will honor the Lord we hear, man. When you come into a room, you will get out the chair, let them sit, and you will move to the side, man. It's our respect and honor, man. Right. You know? And like the wolf thing, even had a, the alpha wolf shows a uh, servitude back to the to his, to his flock, his, mm -hmm. group, his pack. He, uh, the pack always fucking ended up splitting off. 
he is still he still grabbed the big the big fucking uh hunt. He is still grabbing by himself at times, man. Yeah. Take it down, man. Risking his own life to serve them. All right. And yeah. if somebody else is not honored by him, he fight them off. You don't fuck with nobody. You don't fuck with them. That's him honoring his his uh pack, man. That's him worshiping them back. That's right. Giving his life for him. Oh, oh. Because you always have said. These how you should know that you look at your um you are in me. Y'all y'all love one another, man. That's right. You know? So I can go ahead. So you think you finish that piece because I think like verse three. Right. It's uh I like father and mother, which is the which is the first commandment, the promise. Mm -hmm. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Is is it one that says fathers? Okay, that one, that's the one. And ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and ammunition of the Lord. And that's and, 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 and that's what that's what they do. That's what the fathers do, man. That's why it says uh, 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 that they may do it with joy and not with grief, because it's unprofitable for you. You know, because they watch for your souls, like your father would watch over you when. Go ahead, brother. And you bow down to him, man. You had more that? Yeah, I had some of It's uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves. For they watch for your souls as they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. But that is unprofitable for you. And that's wild. <laughs> I, I didn't even know you had it, you know? That's, that's wild. No, just um. I just wanted to bring out the one to um, ask him a question because uh, you know we've been talking about worship and bowing and uh, they had stated something that it was no like bowing in the New Testament or like to show you where where is it bowing down in the New Testament. Uh, this uh, it is bowing down in the New Testament. This is uh, Luke twenty four and uh, verse four. This is this is uh, when you have a shot died. This is a uh, when we rose, it said, um, and it came to pass where we're much perplexed. They were much perplexed there about behold, two men standing by them in shiny garments. Now we know those men were angels, you know, but they didn't know that. They didn't understand that. All right. Behold, two men by them in shiny garments, as they as they were afraid. And bowed down their faces to the earth, cause they looked at they looked at their men with reverence. They knew that the men of the Lord. They looked at them with reverence, and they bowed down. The scriptures say they bowed down to them in the New Testament. So it ain't got nothing to do with it. You can't show me bow down in the New Testament. It's right here. Revelation three and nine. Revelation three. Come, huh. and they said unto them, Why seek the living among the dead? Because they was when you go into it, they was going to tell you that you know Yahweh Shai had rose. But they seen the men standing there in the shiny garments and they bowed down to him. Yeah. And nothing like that's oh, you extrapolating not. It ain't no <laughs> extrapolation in it, man. Right. And on even on the deeper sense, why the majors didn't tell them to stand up? Like, you know, as you see certain cases in the scriptures. Um, can somebody get that revelation straight now? Oh. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So first of all, we all know on one level, let's talk about, you know, the Khazars today. But the first level of that yeah. was this was written to Israelites. When it was, so this is talking to Israelites at the same too. Time because you gotta understand all things are double, which you got hey, which you I know personally don't really like, all right, and all things are manifold, like all right. Mm -hmm. So it said, I should make them come to bow down and mm -hmm. worship at thy feet, man. Because during the so time, now, listen, go ahead, when this was written, like you said, it was talking to them to the to the niggas, man, who called themselves Jews, but hey, just like uh, the elders, Susanna. When he said, uh, "Oh, thou Canaanite man," right. you know what I'm saying. So he, that those when that those are the niggas that that he was talking to, like the brother said on the on on 
on a spiritual level, it's the fucking Khazars today. You know? I'll finish it off, though. It says, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Right. I will make them to work, come and worship before thy feet and know that I have loved thee. Right. Just bow them down, essentially. And uh, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the point how you said that uh, and that Luke, the angel didn't tell them to get up because right. usually they do that. Huh. You know, because you, that's the one, you know, we don't we don't lord over each other because the revelations says I'm your brother and the prophets that handle the word. But that was a one that was a high rank. That, that was a high rank. Hey, you figure it out. Right. Yeah, was, you I figure know, it out. That's right. I could already that, you know what? That, you that, figure that it out. That wasn't like Michael or nobody like that. That was somebody higher. <laughs> okay, let's leave it at that. Right. Um and then but he didn't tell him to get up, right? So he bowed right. down. He didn't have to. You know, that was in proper order. But the thing is, uh you know, you, you know, you know damn well. They all teach us how about show me how shine. In fact, even going to this is teaching how shine because we're going into his, the truth, his word. You have a shot. I was going to pray our scriptures. Every time we open this book. We're not saying go clearly, you know, we don't go pray to to to, to, to King uh, to Malak to Har or Adawan Gabar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. We don't go, we don't go pray and scream out, may uh may the Lord Uriah. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> right, come save save us, man. Okay. I got one. We, 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 we don't do that, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. In fact, no, somebody, I'm going on. You go ahead. Let the first hold his peace. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> this is um this is um Sirach 4. Just going into the battle again. This is uh Sirach 4 and 7. Get thyself the love of the congregation and bow thy head to a great man. I mean, I don't really understand it. Do reverence. And that's being subject one to another, man. Yeah. They, we, we we worship the apostles. We worship each other. Okay. Simple as that. Hey, yeah, hey uh, Allah, Malad, Yarmaya. Okay. Right. And all those hey. names are true. <laughs> hey. It's a true statement. Yeah, man. Every time I uh, salute that brother, the only kids, man. All right. This is Colossians one. It's like Colossians two eighteen. You know they were going to bring this out, so we're going to go ahead and do it. And how did Eminem win that last freestyle battle? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bring, bring it out for you. This is Colossians 2.18. Let no man be you of their reward in a voluntary humility and worship of angels, <laughs> intruding into those things which you have not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshy mind. Fleshly mind. All right, that worship right here has nothing to do with uh, bowing down or obeying the word. This means a uh, religious worship, uh, especially external, that which consists of ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Okay, religious discipline, and religion. We don't we don't keep uh, ceremonies set up by the apostles, man. We keep the Passover. All right, we keep we keep the Holy Covenant set up by the Yahweh Shai. Exactly. Things that protect them. Even even the um, is it Hanukkah? I forgot to say it. Uh, Han Hanukkah, uh, Hanukkah, that was the you know, Maccabees man said, it, but that was declared because of dedication. what? Right. Mm -hmm. That was because of what though? The the, the temple being built again. That's still to Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, I'm gonna click on the next one. Though. That was yeah. G two three five six. Then it says, um, oh, it's like the ceremonial observance religion. We don't have a religion technically. Like you no, know, we don't have a religion called uh, the apostles. Oh, this oh, religion yeah. right here means spirit because. When you go into the actual English religion, this is why it's important to go to the Greek words, man. This is what this specific Greek word means, man. We don't pray to the apostles, man. We don't have holidays to the apostles, man. That's the holiday, holidays. I mean, I hope holidays. Holy days. You know, I just came down smooth with that language, okay? It's a lot in my English language. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, G2357. Fearing or worshiping the Most High to tremble, trembling, fearful. All right, we fear Yahweh Shai what He commands. That's right. The reason why we obey the apostles because they teach what He commands. Wait a minute, you now yeah, that's, that's you know, now you know, worship. and that's the part of the worship. Now you don't now you don't believe that the voice of the Lord are uh, the prophets, man. Mm -hmm. Now you don't believe that we're the voice of the Lord anymore, man. They only ones. Oh, okay. Well, that's understandable. I they brought the ox back in though from uh, down south. Oh, that's good. Man, Wesley brought the other ox from. Oh. Uh, so. Gee, you're a master too over them, you know? 
that's that's fucking good. Um, <laughs> probably from the base of G two three hundred and sixty, ceremonious and worship. That is P is religious. Let me go to G two three hundred and sixty. To cry aloud, make a noise by outcry. Who we, who we cry to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man? Mm -hmm. We pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's a kind of, I'm not doing it for one time, man. Trouble, trouble. We follow Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says what we teach, uh, and thereby knowing the terror Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We persuade them. We don't teach the terror of us, man. We don't right. teach that we don't do shit. We don't teach the apostles gonna do anything. We teach that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna do these things. The only reason we going to this is so the father know that we teach the truth. After this, we are gonna go into a whole other topic. Uh, prophecies proclaiming the coming of Yahweh Shai, setting up the order of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Wild the Wild. Okay. Uh, okay. That's that, man. Y'all slide. Go there, brothers. Yeah, I'm going with some. Uh, I like the, that word worship in uh, Revelations three and nine. It's the Greek word proskuneo. It says to kiss the hand towards one in token of reverence. <laughs> so, which which reverence? Can, can we get that to Rock 7? It says, um, definition two, it says among the Orientals, especially, it says especially the Persians, to fall upon the knees and touch the ground with the forehead as, a, as an expression of profound reverence. Uh, number three in the New Testament by kneeling or prostration to do homage or make obeisance mm -hmm. whether in order to express respect or to make supplication exactly. same definition but a 3a used of homage shown to men in beings of superior rank well that, and that's the ultimate cut man there you go man Right, yeah, well, hey, the, superior uh, you had prophets those bow down to the lisha. I don't care. Hey, you ain't oh, you don't use the whole testifier. I'm gonna use the whole scroll, man. And you can, all right, so low, exactly. I come in the volume of the book. Okay, right, that definition that's just that word obesis only meant is only towards men anyway. You can't even show people that type of oh, how that's meant that definition to toward the Lord, man. <laughs> We do that to the men, and that's how we do it to the Lord. What does brother keep saying? Exactly. We can't just get to a hey, Yahweh. We have to live according that, to the man. word of Yahweh by Chanel Shai. That's the word of Yahweh by Chanel Shai. We obey his order. Mm -hmm. We follow the examples before to show how we live. and Because the all the Lord wants to do is follow what's right in the scriptures. Hey, he said so that's things, why. He said the things that was written before time, my father learned it, man. That's right. that, and that's the whole point. So we're supposed to do it. We follow, really we obey a man, man, to follow, uh, follow the examples to learn how to live according to the Yahweh Shai. Come, we're not it's man, man please, because a man can tell your ass to go rob a liquor store so he can get drunk. We ain't man, please, and we following the commandments of Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai that the man, that man that was put here on the earth, learned from other men and taught us. So right, eight and eight. That's right. I I got it, but. Bring it up. Well, this, this is Sirach 8. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at 6. Because it's, it's a lot of um, dishonor going around in Israel. Um, this is a, a treason, betrayal. All right? This is Sirach 8 in verse um, 6. Dishonor not a man in his old age. For even some of us wax old. Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead. Remember that we we die all. All right. Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. Right. And that's what the elders taught us, man. Exactly. And we acquainted ourselves with them proverbs. No matter how you want to go into it, man. Going into rebuke, going into edifying, going into the the, the, the atrocities committed by the so-called black woman. Everything that the apostles taught us, man, is is, is 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 it was the proverbs of the wise, the parables, the deep sayings, the dark sayings, the true sayings. Because they taught it out of the scriptures like we never heard it before, man. And it was true and correct. All right. It said, For of them thou shalt learn instruction and how to serve great men with ease. 
I'm going to just read the last part over. And how to serve great men with ease. Miss not the discourse of the elders. Right. Like so that's stupid ass listen. shit. All that stupid ass shit. Well, yeah, we yeah. all know who taught who and who taught what and who what. Look, but stop doing that goofy shit, man. Because the most high, your whole shit, man, I was shot, will put you to death, man. You ain't going to do shit but mislead a lot of niggas and get yourself put to death, man. But that'll still be doing the work of the Lord, too. I don't want to be the nigga who who who, who preached to, for a contention and strife and get put to death, man. Because that, that part still got to be fulfilled. Somebody got to be niggas, man. To the niggas that's playing with this gospel, man. And, they and I be don't want to be one, man. They got to be on circumcision, too. That's right, especially in the circumcision. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, Judas, Judas walked with Yahweh Shai, man, every day, man. But he still had to be fucking Judas, man. Treason, which they committed. All right, we're going to finish this off. And them that, and them, and of them, God, it's a lot, let me start over, it's around 8 9, miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers, and of them thou shalt learn understanding, and give answer as need required. Going, because if a person walk up, and that was the stupidest shit that dude ever said, man. It don't matter who taught who or who taught what. But that, that's so stupid, man. Because if I was just a nigga, right? I was walking down the street, and I seen the camp. I came in, man, how did you learn this? Who taught you this? This is great. Oh, well, just so you, you, you know what I'm saying. I'll just, what you going to say, nigga? Say Your first know. grade teacher didn't teach you, nigga. And your house shot damn sure didn't grab your dusty ass out of Harvey by, by, by your neck and say, here. Hmm. Hey, man, the most high gonna put you niggas to death if you don't repent, man. Because I don't care how many niggas even gather, man. You gather all them niggas just to be destroyed. A lot of them niggas came back just to skull. So I don't give a fuck who we brought back. That's just me speaking as a man, but I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> a lot of them bitches came back just to talk shit. I got something for you. It's uh, Acts chapter 5, verse 37. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxi and drew away much people after him, he also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. You know? Mm -hmm. Hey, exactly. so y'all, a, a bunch of niggas getting led to the ditch, man. God. And, <laughs> and, that's he, man. and now I say unto you, Refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. So but man, guess what? If we really don't got the truth, that's going to happen. But we know we got the truth. And we <laughs> want people to follow it. God, and we're going to tell people, follow the truth. Yeah, follow right. the voice of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yeah, we're right. going to say that. You don't want to say it? We will. Right. All right? That's what it monitors. That's the difference. They say, I have not, not sure. To the whole gospel, we receive freely we give. So, if we so to say, follow us is proclaiming the gospel because Paul said it. That's the example we follow. So, if you just say we ain't gonna say follow, we got the truth, but not gonna follow us. You a dickhead, yeah. man. You just a soft ass dickhead, nigga, man. You being a bitch ass, nigga, man. Nothing else, that's a bitch ass, nigga, man. It's verse 39. But if it be of the most high, he cannot overthrow it. Right. So if this house is of Yahweh Bashi you ain't going to overthrow it. You keep on trying all day, but uh uh uh, not in my house. They know the Lord set this thing up. They man. know they, 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 they wouldn't have the truth if the Lord didn't. But y'all was, hey, set up to go off, man. All right. It says, but if it be of the most high, he cannot overthrow it. Let's happy you be fail even to fight against the most high. Mm -hmm. So, so guess what? Hey, so you say, uh, <laughs> show me uh, when you don't accept uh, men or you fight with the men here on earth, it ain't against your house shot or uh, your house bashing house shot. So, guess what? It is, man. That's what you're doing. All right. You ain't rejecting us, you rejecting him that sent me. All right. Mm. So basically, hey, at the end of the day, we don't cut the blood off our hands, really. 
you got a lot of blood on yours. Because like the brother said, all the little niggas are going to follow, uh, follow you. Because guess what? A lot of the niggas are simple, man. Simple as hell, man. You're telling us, oh, reach it. Hey, I study. I search, man. You got, you got them niggas, man. You got that woo on you. You know, uh, most, most soft-ass niggas do, man. You got that woo on you. Hey, but that's what Sue says do, man. See, we fish, man. We go out there. We tell you what you need to know. We give you that bitter. We give you that sweet, man. But we give it to you. Like the brother said, we, we don't show in the gospel, but we ain't finna soothe say, man. We ain't finna pipe for you so you can be tuned to this. Oh, yeah, this kingdom, this is gonna be glorious. We're gonna have many wives. And have your ass around the camp for fucking two or three months. But then when you start opening the book and find out the white man is double, you wanna commit heresies in the camp. That's what y'all doing, man. Y'all soothe saying, man. You stupid ass niggas, man. When you say we flunkies and don't look shit up, just imagine the guys. Man, he know we know what we do, man. Right, that's the point. Hey, hey, you know, you nigga, you know what I do. That's the point. And I'm talking about me and you. <laughs> I man, I want to be one of these niggas, man. I want to speak on it. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Hey, man, when the Most High worked that work, man, and, and, and he put that spirit on our neck, man. Hey, and, and, and our elders and our apostles, man, and, and especially our elders here, man, they, they do, I know for a fact they got me under control, man. Because I really want to flip the fuck out. This is a stupid ass shit, man. You old lemon head ass nigga. I had something real quick. This, uh, this Baruch, chapter 1, verse 21. And, you know, it's just a basic scripture, man, but everything, even if. Uh, Milk is good, man. Hey, the elder Malcolm would say you could choke somebody to death or something. You could drown them with milk. Okay. Now he right. says, uh, Baruch chapter 1, verse 21. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power, according unto all the words of the prophets who he said unto us. All right? Hey, who was that? Oh, cousin. Yeah, who did your first grade teacher? That old silly ass parable. That bootleg ass for your first grade teacher talking about me in the kindergarten. No, man, that was the apostle to heart, man. That was the apostle Ram lad. That was the elder apostle Gabar. Monatazar, elder Monatazar, elder Sakharan. I, I seen them teaching the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. I, my first grade teacher didn't teach me shit. Straight up, man. That stupid ass shit. Keep reading up. Come. It says, uh, whom he sent unto us. Because it says uh, Isaiah 30 to 20, you go ask to see your teachers, man. That's right. It should not be removed yeah, yeah. to a corner anymore, yeah. man. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, I'll watch him outside. Gotta be speaking through somebody, right? Which are the great just happen to be the uh, men of great meals called the apostles. And see, they know this, Salaki. I want to say this. And and they know this, man. This part of the lesson is for you flunkies who actually listening to them niggas who haven't seen the apostles. See, they know this, man. They seen the apostles. They, and they learned the scriptures with me. Me and these brothers learned the scriptures together. They taught me shit they ain't even saying no more. They learned from me, and I learned from them. Hey, they know the apostles. They know us. They know other brothers who are men of the Lord. This for you fucking flunkies just listening to them niggas with y'all books closed. Go ahead. This part for you fucking lackeys, man. Y'all real lackeys, man. It says, uh, but every man follows the imagination of his own wicked heart <clears throat> to serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of the Lord our power because you strayed away from the doctrine, man, uh -huh. which you have been assured of, man. You know? He was assured of the doctrine. You, when you first heard it, you were, it was a nun that you enjoyed, like you said, Matthews, right? That's right. You took off, he was happy. A good song. And, and then you changed the doctrine, man. And being sure of who you ever wanted to fuck. Get, yeah. get the Isaiah. And this this for you lackeys, because because who don't know the elders, who don't know the apostles, and who don't know the other elders in, in Great Neil Stone around the country? They actually do, man. But you stupid ass niggas believe in that shit. Y'all don't, man. Y'all just some dusty ass niggas and some gardens, man. With some t-shirts around y'all head. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, 
yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. And the men we just named and other men around the camp who was doing this before us, those are the men we seen, man. Mm -hmm. Just like y'all, dusty ass niggas, he seen Nazariah and Yasharan uh, and these other brothers, you, you know, that's out there teaching the truth in the garments. It does matter who you learn from, man. Because the men you learn from ain't going off one bit, man. You brothers are going clean off, man. And I and I'm sorry I even just named the names, man, for real. But you know, but hey man, y'all wanna wake the fuck up, man. We seen those men and we know those men, man. Um that's just that's that's all. Um, I want to bring out one real quick. This is uh, a most face to face. Come right, just don't put no comment board. Come, come see me face to face. Hey, listen, this is face to face. All right, <laughs> you scoff first. We ain't gotta come to you, man. All right, you can march your ass down the way. Oh, I don't care, man. Hey, I'm right? state in Van Buren. It don't matter, man. The scriptures is true what we're saying. You mm -hmm. just can't receive it, man. All right. Oh, yeah. That CBS. That's face to face for you, man. All right. I ain't got. Hey, I ain't got no time to be wasting, man. All right. You you should understand the scriptures, but you don't, man. You have no spirit of discernment, man. Go ahead. Well, what you gonna do anyway? Go down there for me. I'll talk you. Yeah, right. you gonna you gonna we gonna go uh, oh you know what I'm saying. You go, that's it, Carnal, man. We're gonna have a screaming contest. It's gonna be on YouTube. It's gonna get your 3,000 views. If you really want to face to face, we can go on a dark ass out. And I ain't speaking on behalf of GMS. I'm speaking on behalf of me and you. And we can do this shit like the Cowboys and Indians. And then I'm gonna pick you up, dust your dusty lemon head ass off, and say, Shalom, brother, you better repent for scoffing. I got beat your motherfucking ass. That's all that's gonna happen. Hey, but we ain't on that. But I'm just saying, on oh, me and you. Can you still, my brother? He's a wicked ass nigga. And most I gonna destroy you if you keep being a wicked ass nigga. Hey, our weapons ain't calm, man. But but that's why we ain't gonna do it. But if you wanna keep hollering that stupid ass shit, man, you welcome. At my door, man, on behalf of me. But I'm gonna bring out the scripture, man. This is um Amos. <laughs> this is Amos three and seven. Surely, the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but He revealed His secrets to His servants, the prophets. So the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai revealed those secrets to the apostles and the elders, and they taught us, man. What's so fucking hard about that? Hey, and the men who the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai set up and, and taught this according to Amos three and seven. And according to the rest of the scriptures, man, you're supposed to reverence it, man. Don't it not say in the apocryphal um, to reverence his priests? Yeah, right. You niggas scoffing, man. Hey, if the elders hey, are GMS, I'm, I'm both the elders are all right. Israel, listen to you, brothers. Who is? Right, is it, who is? Is it, is it you? Is it you guys? Was this church built on your rock? I don't think so. Yeah. They, they served us back, man. They served properly, man. Lee will, man. They honor us back. Hell, we, we greet the apostle. You say, yeah, that's great. Yeah, you, you don't know you, man. I'm no, this is you, right, 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 man. Right, man. Yeah. Worship right there. I, right, that's why I have to be around. This is a salute. When we say, um, when we open up, we say double honors to the, uh, first of all, we say all praises to y'all, which is all praises that's to them. Exactly. The first. That's what it then goes we back say, Bible shot. Okay. And you read Rule 5. Man. Go ahead, Shabbat. Then we say double honors. So next, Double honors to the elder apostles of all Israel, and then how they how do they honor us? In salutations to the brethren that's rightly dividing the truth. All right, okay. salutations to them, so they give us honor right back as we do unto other brothers. And clearly they show love. I know they love y'all. Shack and they feed us. But right. I say if you love me, y'all. Shack said you love me. Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. You want five and one? Let's start at one, man. We got a good. We have a push up, man. Um, this no, is no, I'm just on one. No, yeah. it's really good. This is um, um, Luke five and verse one. Put put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of thy mourning and affliction, and put the comeliness of the glory that cometh from Yahweh forever. Cast 
cast about thee the double garment of the righteousness which cometh from Yahweh, and set a diadem on thy head of the glory of the everlasting. For for Yahweh will show thy brightness, for Yahweh will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven. For thy name shall be called the power forever, the peace of righteousness, and the glory of Yahweh's worship. The glory of Yahweh's worship. Right, no, yeah, I want you to do it. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please understand what I said. Go ahead. Read it again, bro. Well, you want me to start at uh, three? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I was going to make a quick point for the first couple of verses. When it says glory, that was one of the words for worship right there. I'm going to say it again. That was the hardest thing. Guess what? It's, the apostle said himself. It's, it's different notes that are worship. It's just a word, man. We all stuck on the word, man. The Lord has given us glory, man. He, oh, he's bowing down to man. So he humbled himself, right? No. He's serving us. <laughs> you know, it's not no. He's not gonna do no praise. To, he's not gonna pray it to us. Though. That's <laughs> exactly. a difference, man. It's a big ass difference. That's a hell of a difference. It's still order to everything, man. Exactly. <laughs> Is that the whole point? It's order. The diadem, the double garment of righteousness. Right. Yeah, and he gave us the truth, and he passed the truth on through every generation. But he did it through the prophet. I'm sorry, man. No, you got it, bro. Sorry, you got it. On, but, Go and he, but he did it through the prophets. That's how we got it. But he gave us the glory, man. Yeah, I was shy. The brother brought the perfect example, man. Yeah, I was shy, but the parable he said, uh, who, who, sits at the, who sits at the table? Who's the master? Of the, who, the parable? Who, who was bread? Right, who was bread? Him and they sit at that meat? Yeah, well, I was shy. The brother that went to the end of the book, the actual parable, man. That word worship is to be part of it, man. The Al Shag washing the disciples' feet really is the life. That was a heavy fucking uh example, man. That was a heavy example. And that's that's hey, a big thing. It gets overlooked. King David, man, they they went to battle, man, and they 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 put themselves in the trenches, man. And they came back and gave him that water. He just poured it out. Yeah. Because they couldn't drink it with him, man. He honored them. That was the point. He, he exactly. He worshiped. He said, I can't think of any last for me for this. Because they were like, wow, well, fucking being too you, great for that. Like, he, he couldn't deal with that, man. Because, because what? Because the, the, the fear and love he had for you, how much me outside. Exactly. The integrity he had told you how much me outside, it made his heart upright. He poured that water. All it was was him just just living living up right because the fear that's instilled in him that built his character, which is all we teach you, man. <laughs> if we teach you how to live and serve how much you shine, again, this is not a battle of wits. It's um, not. <laughs> and what he did to them servants, then on um, the most high say King David, a man after my own heart, man. Mm -hmm. Same thing the most high would be with us, man. We take exactly. it. And you have a shot. Why would I read? But, but can I read this one first? That's Luke 12, 37. It says, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And so that's that's that's, that's the how was shot being a servant unto us, man. How was shot putting the crowns on the righteous heads? On righteous heads. Right, he could have had anybody do that. That's service. But the Howard Shot, here you go, here you go. I'm Once again, I, 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 you know, we ain't got Howard Shot, I bring out David, but King David, but hey, that's all. That's all. King, King David, man, he said he, but he'd be, he'd rather be a doorkeeper, man, in the house of the Lord. Exactly. Yep. that, he yep. just want to, like you go to the club and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a dude in there. He got on a little tie and shit. He got the peppermints. He just serving you. That's that's what the doorkeeper is. And that's what he, and that's essentially what uh, that scripture meant when it said call no man master, man. It's the fact that the example, the apostles, we don't go actually bow down to them, you know, and if it, like really bow down do that, man. Like worship them. Right. We don't worship them, man. So no, we don't call them the master, man. Yeah, how much Of course it's the master, man. But they are the voice of how much Shai. So we obey what they say. Therefore, by obeying, what's the obey? Go back to obey. Obey go back to obey. So we do worship them in that sense, man. 
And these niggas bugged out, man, because these niggas don't realize that Yahweh himself, Abanawa, is the greatest servant of all, man. So Rock tells you that. Him that is the master of the beast, man. You are as a servant, man. You don't even eat. The most high don't eat, but he feedeth everything on this planet, man. Well, all, he don't eat right, right, but uh, right. I'm I'm you know, I'm just kind of. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm hot, bro. I know, I know. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just because, man, like, like this example that Yahweh Shah gave when, when he washed the disciples' feet, the example of King David, he would rather be a doorkeeper, man, and he was a, mo a man after the Most High's heart, like Yahweh. But our, our Father, man, he's the greatest servant, man, because he's serving everything, everything, every living thing, man. That's 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 the perfect example of that is when Yahweh Shah said, um. He clothed the he um clothed the uh um, what he 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 did um he said it wasn't Solomon arrayed in all his glory right. he feed the birds the flowers right. he serves everything man yeah so don't worry about how you gonna eat mm -hmm. or whatnot so the Lord's servant always yep yeah. the psalm says that all creatures wait upon the most high for they meet that's right. right you know so the Lord Lord serving everything the man the greatest servant and yeah, what about that? go, that's actually that's the, yeah how should I say that. Then that is king of all is the is the servant. Then that is king is servant of all Salatia. That's the scripture, right? The chief is the chief is the yeah. one is the servant. Yeah. Right. Because 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 these niggas don't even know how to break this down correctly. This is Luke 22, 25. And he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that ex exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. And he that is chief as he that doeth serve. Yeah. Because Yahweh himself, our father, is the, 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 the ultimate server, even though he's an omnipotent. He's Yahweh the king, the only king. Right. And that's a true uh, 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 king, man. And that's what he's teaching us. That's right. A true leader serves, man. And he don't get benefit from it. He don't get it. He don't get, you know what I'm saying? That's why the scripture says you can't get a Lord no damn money, man. You know what I'm saying? You no, serving no, him, and and he serving you because he gonna deliver you from serving. No, Proper no. example, so like if I no. was shot, the priesthood, when you, the offers you made, it said these were the offers to your house, right? Mm -hmm. Who actually ate it? The, the priest. The priest. Mm -hmm. the, priest. Mm -hmm. the Lord ain't never do like no idol. Say yeah, I mean this. No, he made it clear. I don't eat this mm -hmm. stuff from us. Home ground wouldn't even tell you. Right. Mm -hmm. It was given to no. the priest and his family too. Not even just him, it's his whole family, man. That's right. The Lord bless. This for y'all. But it's your service right. to the Lord to because give it to the, the Lord. And the Lord said, "Because they serve me, they teach you what I'm saying to you. Mm. That's why you get them stuff because they teach you what I'm saying to you, and then you obey them because it said you should obey the promises throughout mm. your team. That's right. I, I, I said it. Uh, I think it's the 17th chapter. Nor is he worship with me in sense as though he needed anything. Right. He, seeing that he is the creator. That's the point. Things. It says though as if he's even worship a man's hand. <laughs> We're not actually. That's right. We, what we doing, man? We, man this is to actually y'all watching out. This is to the brothers. Right. It's to you how about shot. Obviously, what I'm saying. Bow it down and how about you shot. What, what does that do for him? Obedience, man. Obey. Obey. Oh, oh, to obey is better than sacrifice. He said, and, he, and what did he say? What are the two commands he said? How do you obey your how about you now shot? What are the two things he actually mm. said, man? Mm. That's right. You know, hey, love, love, love the Lord with all thy heart, soul, and, and spirit and might. And love thy brother as thyself, man. And love thy brother as thyself, bro. I got some. Be a servant unto thy brother. That's simple, man. Simple as that, man. So to worship you have by say properly is to worship your brother, man. Yeah. And then it turned out to that, you know about worshiping your brother, teach them how to serve your Bashmash. What guess what you get? To go relax and get the kingdom. Yeah. And then, that's it, man. So what do you mean? Yeah. Everything we're doing is to the man. Everything we're doing is to man. Neither is man, neither is the most I worship by man's hands. I have something real quick. I want to get that word for worship, man. It's up. It's uh, Sirach chapter 7, verse 27. It says, Honor thy father with thy whole heart, and forget not the sorrows of thy mother. Remember that thou was begotten of him. Yep, I have begotten you through the gospel. And how can thou recompense them the things that they have done for thee? So how can you pay back the men who taught you this word, man? Yahweh Shah taught me. Well, who taught you the name of Yahweh Shah? Hey, the spiritual parents, man. Yahweh Shah said, who's my mother, who's my brother? Yeah. All right? 
them that hear the word of the Most High and do it. And if those certain men who you have an issue with didn't hear the word of the Most High and do it 30 years ago, you wouldn't have learned it from them, man. I mean, of course, you know, that the Most High, you know, he passed the scepter throughout the generations into the generation. But just because you don't like a person don't mean <laughs> what they're telling you is the truth. Or you don't like how some person operates. You know, you got to get off that Jody ass shit, man. For real. It's uh, verse 29. Fear the Lord with all thy fear the Lord with all thy soul and reverence his priests. Right. Reverence, man. What's that uh ob uh opiates goes with the word reverence too, man. Mm -hmm. To revere. It is because right? when Salaki when um Bathsheba bowed down to David, right, right before um Nathan came in and bowed down to David. Mm -hmm. The scripture says she did obeisance and bowed down. Hmm. Go ahead. Because in the law, it says that the wife should reverence her husband, That's who right. obeisance to her husband. That's right. And in the same chapter, I believe it's the same chapter, if I'm not mistaken, but Paul said, I speak a mystery. I mean, the church to Yahweh Shai. But Ephesians just said, serve your masters as unto Yahweh Shai. No, and that ain't talking about Esau, man. So it's all, it's all tied in, man. They, they still on the corner of the man. Whatever. Go ahead. Verse 30. It says, Love him that made thee with all thy strength and forsake not his ministers. Mm. Right. So forsake not his ministers. Right. Who's his ministers, man? Who ministered unto them the word? Actually, it says that. Who ministered, um, I'm going to get it. And the minister to somebody, you got to serve, man. The right. word minister goes back to serve. Right. They served us by giving us the word. And it said, forsake not his ministers. So don't go on to, hey, and we just read it in Sirach, um, Sirach hey, the eighth chapter, man. You don't even rejoice over your worst enemy being dead. Ultimately, this thing is really about, Mercy. really, it, no, not that. I'm talking about this whole dilemma. It's just about a certain person not liking how a certain person did something and leading a stupid-ass revolt, man. And it's going to get you destroyed, man. Scripture tells you not to hold the grudge, man. Right, the scripture says it's um Ephesians, let not the sun go down on your wrath, man. Cause shit, stupid ass shit like this happened, man. It says yeah. it says, Fear the Lord and honor the priest mm. and give him his portion as it is commanded thee, the first fruits, and the trespass offering, and the gift of the shoulders, and the sacrifice of sanctification. And the first fruits of the holy things. You know, like the brother was saying earlier, man. Like you pay your tights, man. Hey, yeah, how about some y'all shadow come out, come down and collect that bag of money? That's for the priest, man. Right, and then you got these niggas, right? What are they desire? <laughs> right, then you get right, exactly. That's what I'm getting at. You got these niggas, right? They like I sound biting the apostle to hog when he said, Hey, you know, I can't give the money to Michael, or I can't um, you know what I'm saying, give the money to the most high. We do what we want with it. They supposed to. They supposed to, man. And your father ever gave you, or your mother, or whoever ever gave you some allowance, and said, "Well, you can't buy this net, but I'm gonna give you this money, man." Hey, the Lord can't do nothing with no goddamn money. Going back to that Acts 17 and 23, that's a lot of another thing. People got a problem with paying tithes, man. Those are some dusty ass niggas, man. Hey, what's all all paying tithes is just showing the sign of faith, man. For one, the scripture to take no muzzle the ox that turned about the corn. That's right. On top of that, and then pay, uh, pay your tights is uh, spiritual, man. You know, because guess what? Pay your tights, the, the men that's serving you, right? That's teaching you, uh, to give you the knowledge and wisdom, understanding of the spirit, all right? I mean, how about shit out with shot, okay? Paying them tights, man, the Lord keeping you healthy, you know? Brothers be uh, getting out of jam. And you saw the common things, they yeah. got to read the spiritual things. Yeah. But then the scriptures also say, uh, uh, in Malachi 3 and 8, man, they say, Where have you robbed the most high, man? He said, Tithes and offerings, man. You know, so you gotta not just maybe give that physical money, but we also give that spiritual money too, man. You know, can I jump back to that Luke, Luke 22, verse 27? Now it says, For whether, for whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth. It's not he that sitteth at meat 
but I am among you as he that served. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I wish I came to serve as we came to serve. That's why he said the chief is among us is it, it, the servant, man. That's right. So it's still order. There's still a chief. You still respect, honor, obey. But him himself is also as a servant, man. So it goes all around, man. Being subject one to another, man. It's that simple. That's right. It's that simple. Man. The scripture says the prophets to be subject one to another. That's right, man. That's right. Uh, well, why are you doing that? Since he got up something according to the pastor. Let me read this real quick. This is that Acts 17. That was a great country, man. To that 23, 24? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start at 24. Well, I'm gonna start at uh, no, I'm gonna start at, you know, all that 23 as a spirit, and it is definitely indeed the spirit. Acts 17 23. But as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown power, and therefore he uh, ignorantly worship them to cry out to you, all right? Because they were so superstitious, man, they had all of the gods, including when they said unknown God. So Paul being clever he said, Well, this is who actually is gonna know. Yeah, he, he didn't actually know what I mean with that. Right, yeah, how? Yeah. Right? But he said they were superstitious, man. Well, hey, that's just the, the spirit, man. Don't be too goddamn superstitious, man. You get trapped up. Uh the most high that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, well, if not temples made with hands, need this worship with man's hands as though he needed needed anything. Exactly. What actual service can we do to your house? What the? What does he need? He's the one controlling everything. Actually, we go back to the greatest <laughs> two commandments. Man. Nobody can. Everybody serving your house. To be honest, <laughs> one way. Uh, <laughs> right, we, just want, we just want to be doing it the right way. Right. <laughs> we don't want to be them dusty niggas that we gathered up to mislead the flock and get eliminated. Man. So look, this is that word worship, man. To serve, do service, to uh, it's like it's the Greek word therapeo, to serve, do service, to heal, cure, restore, to help, to wait upon maniacally. Okay? And the list the Lord said, you, you can't do this to him. This is the things we do to man. Mm. So when it's talking about worship in this sense of the word, that's talking about doing to man. Not even to the Heavenly Father, man. What the hell does he need? <laughs> even the even the temple itself, man. When the service that was done, because we click on the word, even deeper, the next word, G3, 2, 3, 2, 4, wow. it says an attendant servant of the most high. So even doing that, that's really just for man. The reason we were supposed to be prophets is not even for the Lord, it's for man. You know, it was foolishness of preaching, right? This is for man, man. It's not even for the Lord, really. All we're doing is, is speaking, man. You're not even. Hey, I something happened the other day. I think you witnessed it. I had I couldn't understand something, and I asked. I was talking to the brother I talked to him, and then he was telling me the breakdown. Well, I had zoned out. He was speaking. I heard the part of I zoned out, and then I was like, I understand it now. But I heard what he was saying, but I wasn't. I wasn't hearing it no more. Right, right. We was in the kitchen. Right, and I was like, oh shit, I get it now. But it was what he said, but I didn't even hear him. It was like it literally is. We're not in control of none of this, man. We're really not doing this, man. It's all spiritual. All this is for man. Everything we're doing is for man's sake. The temple, the temple, the priesthood, all that, because it says it's spoken. It's like it's spoken of Moses discharging the duties committed to him by the Most High. So even the priestly duties, that's for man's sake. And Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. None of that's for the Lord, man. It's for the Lord because you know he, the elect who been chosen to be worthy. Because we don't want to worship. That's that worship you know. going back and forth. Mm -hmm. That's who he found to be worthy. They go to word. Okay. Yeah. That's who we have respect to. That's what Rock says. And so I guess the they go some understand to give my respect to persons, man. Right. The more I respect to his elect. King David showed did commit adultery, right? Huh. Okay. Well, so everything's to me. You can't work. Let me finish the verse off there. Murph is on 30 seconds. Because I'm here the I don't know what you're going on. He did worship with his hands, though he needed anything, saying he gave it to all light, 
and breath and all things. He's the greatest servant. He's given everything, man. <laughs> what, what the fuck can we give him? What service can we do to him? Everybody's up in Romans 9 says that. What who well if who can break the will of the Lord? That, why the replies all against men? Well, you know? comes. <laughs> right. You can't nobody's uh, going against the will of the Lord. So technically we all serve the Lord. Shit. Everything we're doing is towards man. The actual worship, the priesthood, all that's towards man, man. That's what man is see. Example of that Moses with the staff. The Lord told him to save rock. You know, do I command you to get water by your help? Okay. You don't need nothing. But he hit it with the stick out of anger for the people. Then Elisha took the water, put the salt in the water. Then he said, he didn't pray to you. How would he heal it though? The salt was for the people to see and say so he did something. Yeah, I was shot at all those miracles without needing to do nothing extra. But the one blind guy he took dirt, spit in it, made salve, put on his eye, and healed him. That was just for man. Right. <laughs> they put a little icing on the cake. Right. Right. No, he let you know because that's that's why um with with the dude, I, I think it was the time um when the dude when he said pick up that thing, that mattress, that bed, and go walk. That's why they was like you know the priest was bugged out. They was like he calling himself. You know the Lord of the Sabbath. He just did it to show him. He said, "Well, if that's not enough for me to say that, take off thy bed and walk." Because he just had, they had just had. The that's Lord so cold. Everything's for me. <laughs> Even yeah, the Lord's so cold. You never would really think how deep it is for him to actually be crucified, right? Mm -hmm. At any given time, he could have put his full strength in himself, carried the cross easily, walked easy, did everything easily, mm -hmm. hung himself, then just gave the ghost. He could have did all. He could have transitioned easily, man. All that was for man. The most high dramatic, man. Right, man. Hey, niggas like drama, man. He said I could call some, I could call a, a fleet of angels to come away with this out, man. But he can't go against the protocol. Man. Exactly, man. That he was all for man. Him. That was all for man. We gotta go through this for man. <laughs> hey man, I'm loving it, man. You know, the kingdom <laughs> almost here, man. I was watching out with Shy Willing, man. We, we, you know, other like minded brothers, be, be other like, man. And you keep, you, you know, this thing, you know. Yeah, I was, I'm about to have one time. Yeah, 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 continue reading this, Luke. Um, Luke 22 27 again. It says, For whether it's greater, he that said it that meet or he that serve it. It's not he that sitteth at me, but I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me. So Yahweh Shah in turn did it to us, man. All right. He's going to give us the kingdom, man. Being co heirs with. Hey, read that last part. John Yahweh Shah. It says, I. Verse 29, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me. Right, he said we have endured his temptations uh, uh, before that, right? Oh, kind, kind, yeah. Verse 28, it says, ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. Right, continue with me in my temptations. We're doing that until this day, man. All right. He's going to give us the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. Go ahead. It says that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of that's Israel. Right. Huh. And that's not just going to go to the, the 12 apostles. That's going to go up to the rest of the elect too, man. Right. They just going to be over it all. It's cold, cold oh. hands and it's ordered the water, oh. man. That's it. That's simple, man. All right. Now, shall I pray to you? How are we laying water in Right, so so now wait, yeah. Now the mountain, no, we're we're out, out, listen, man. man. As it is done in heaven, man. That's so is it is, is it all the same? Man. We are one with Yahweh Shah. Well, not at all. No. Is it? If you're not, you're going to fuck off, man. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the hard saying for them to get. Is that a hard saying for you to get? I am. It did. Hey, we won with, hey. with Yahweh. There you go. I count now robbery to to get one with Yahweh. Hey, how, is that how Yahweh Shah works? How exactly Yahweh Shah works? He said, "Oh, I'm gonna get it." We're not counting not robbery to make equal. 
Yeah, I think we both agree. Right. Right. We, we like money. Right. We out shot yeah. because yeah. we have the money out Oh, yeah, I'm sure I said it right. I got something real quick. This uh John 14 and 20. That that day you shall know that I am my father, and ye and me, and I and you. So we're all one, buddy. So now what? Now are we going off of making the same statement Yahweh Shai made about his father? Hmm? Go ahead. Was, was, was wild, right? The only thing that's changing on this planet is, is the transition of the kingdom. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And of course, it's getting its vigor back. It's going to get its, right. you know what I'm saying? But everything is going to still be the same. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? So the heathens, and then it's written, have to serve us, worship us. And they doing that. Is worshiping the most high. That's the spirit. That's the root five. Read the root five, verse four again. Yeah, and, and, and that's what's ha- and that's what's being established now. Cause you gotta respect the one. That's but that's the point. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's bugged out. Like same way we worship your house with shy, like worshiping the heavenly father. It, it is. He said in John, in the, if you worship your house with shy, you worship the heavenly father God. because he said in Matthew twenty eight. Yeah, I I said, everything on all power has been given to me in heaven and in earth, man. All right, and you know what? Back then, the Pharisees could not understand that. Yeah. Guess what? They can't understand that to this day, yeah, man. They ain't understanding it today. So we, in turn, are saying the same thing Yahweh Shai said, man. To the same right, this is, guess what? That was Yahweh Shai's turn to be glorified. This is our turn to be glorified. <laughs> that is hard for y'all to get. Let's go back to Revelations when it said nobody know the name, but... It's our turn, boy. <laughs> and here's the root five and four. For thy name shall be called of the most high, forever the peace of righteousness, and the glory of God's worship. Mm. We're gonna be called the glory of God's worship, man. Hey, it's not it's not uh the glory to a man and woman. Right. So in the spiritual know I I Israel, thou right. would be elect, I got comely daughter. Like a woman unto the most high, you know how about she now was shot? The glory of God's worship, man. So hold on, if I may say something, is it hard to believe that uh, that Peter is not King David? Is that is that hard to believe? Peter is King David. Oh, uh, yeah, come on. That Peter is King David, man? That would make sense. Peter is who? The top. They King David see. is what? The top. That's it, man. If you the can rock. receive that, oh, man. Rock. 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 Exactly. Rock. We're going to find King Zed. Who's us going to search for? David our King. Yeah, I was waxing worse and worse. Yeah, that's the prophecies, man. That's because that's what we know. We know the prophecies. We know we know we have a shot. So we're trying to tell you. We're, we're, we're the glory of God's worship, man. So of course we worship each other. So we're the glory of God's <laughs> worship, man. We, we, who else is going to worship? We can't worship the Heavenly Father. <laughs> All right. Not in that sense. Only thing we can do to that. Now, Ecclesiastes tell you, what's the whole conclusion of the whole matter? To fear the most high and keep his commandments. What is, what is actually about him? That's all we got to do, man. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. That's why he said they worship him in spirit and in truth. And in truth. Right. That, that's, that's, that's in spirit and in truth is through faith. Faith and works. Right. This is what we do as how we serve him, man, is works also, man. That's part of worship. So we worship the Yahweh Bashi Yashad, worship the man. That's charity, too. And that covers a multitude of sins, man. The word, the word like that, keep it simple. You know, worship, yeah, I'm watching that. I'm not worshiping man. I'm talking about what I said. Oh, so it can be summed up in a few words. Because <laughs> if you receive who the most high said that one, you receive your house shot, man. That's simple, man. Yeah, I, had that. Oh, man. Yeah, I had something real quick for you. Just going back to uh, what you said, what we did, and I watched the house shot. Psalm 50 and 12. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the pool is thereof. Exactly. Will, will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Exactly. You don't even need it, man. Matter of fact, he didn't even need the temple. He said, Earth is my footstool, and heaven is my throne. The pool is and everything is his. <laughs> it, says, it says, Offer unto the most high things given, and pay thy vows unto the most high. You know? Now I'm skip down to three. It says, Whoso offer praise, glory of me. And to him that order of his conversation aright, will I show the salvation. 
the most high. So the most high is the ones to obey his word, man. All right? And everything that comes with it, man. The first thing about man. Hey, you know how your, your, your parents will tell you, right? Your parents sacrifice uh both your school clothes, uh miss meals to feed you, right? And uh -huh. then all they tell you in turn is what? Man, how can I can't repay my parents? You can't. So he say what? Just go to school, get good grades, and that's it. And don't be a nigga in the streets. That's I don't want to hear no said. bad shit about you, man. So I say you can't repay them for that. You can't. Mm -hmm. So everything you're doing is pointless, man. That's what I said. But we was just some preacher, man. We really can't repay you how much my shot back. No way. We do it because that's obey. That's all we can do is obey. Yeah. That's the only payment we really got. Everything we're doing is just gestures, man. We teach this because that's what we're supposed to do, man. <laughs> the elect is already sealed, you know. The two thirds are already sealed. Everything else has been played out, man. Yes, sir. Now, you know, so really, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the same niggas are making motherfucking eat a mic bow down, though. That's the same. That's the act of, uh, of worship, right. you know. But. <laughs> Can you ask mm. There's um, another point you had made, man. You said uh, you were doing this for men, but actually, I was shy. He did this. He came down and um, he did it so we can have faith, man. You know, uh, Hebrews two and seventeen. Wherefore, all things it behold him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest, and things pertaining to the Most High, to make reconciliation. For the sins of the people is the point but in that he himself has suffered being tempted he is able to secure them without tempting so seeing how like you said y'all was shackled and eat he had his full strength carried the cross and just took the pain but he did it so we can see it and that we might have open faith man you know it's nothing like this it's nothing better than seeing your leader go through the same things you went that you're going through man King David went in the wars and was fighting with in the wars, man. He didn't just sit back and send his men out there. He was right there on the battlefield with him, man. You know? So of course, yeah, how about you now shot you all the praise and glory, man? Alright? We, we honor his priest who he set up. Alright? That was the point. Don't you have anything? No, I mean, I don't want to beat the fuck out of a dead horse, man. Sometimes mm. you got to. Hey, I, I would love to. <laughs> well, you know, but I ain't got anything yeah, right now, so if you don't got anything, we're straight. We cover yeah, 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 I'm out. looking right now. Are you straight? You got anything? I'm straight. I ain't got anything. Mm -hmm. We're covering a lot of ground. So, mm -hmm. all right, Matt, if I can get it, you going to out, brother? No. Uh, to back up the brother uh Shakaria, where it says uh uh Yahweh Paul had a thorn inside. Uh first Corinthians uh, no second Corinthians. Yahweh said my grace. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Second Corinthians 12, yeah, exactly. Second Corinthians. Yes. It's like second Corinthians the last chapter. Yeah. Right it says uh, second corinthians 12 and 9 it says and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness and that was the point you know like the brother you you was uh laying back in off benji when he said yeah i wish i could have easily put his full strength in but the most high yahweh his like where he get his strength from yahweh shot so if yahweh shot strength is shown in our weakness the most high strength was shown in yahweh shot you know vice versa the trickle down effect you know the order that's set up just to finish it off it says most gladly therefore will i rather glory in my infirmities that the power of yahweh shah may rest upon me because no matter what you're going through man that faith that hope in you how about shimmy i was shat will keep you going man mm -hmm. that, that's what keep your fire going man against all odds man you know no matter if you lose your woman your kid your job that fire, that belief and faith in the spirit of the Al Bashim Al Shah is in you, man, gonna keep you going, man. You know, and that and that's a testimony to brothers that see that, man. You know, and that's hey, that's being that's helping one another, man. Not being weak and pushing that vibration that hey, the faith that's in you, man. You can tell them about the experience, man. Huh. Wow, so end of the day, obviously, it's all praises 
Clearly, I mean, that's worship right there. That's the highest level of worship, man. All praise and glory. All right, and double honors to the to the apostles. Um, all right, the, the elders. That's in great millstone. Okay, but they are the, they are the elders of all Israel. Man. All right, that's another form of worship, and even that goes back to how by Shabbat 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 because that's who set them up. And sound takes you to the to the elect, man. And the brothers know this thing sincerely and truth down charity. That's another form of worship, man. And that still goes back to how about Shabbat 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 man. That's simple, man. Shalom, Marcus. Shalom. 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 Shalom.